Tata just changed the game with this, the Harrier EV. And under all that aggressive design and tech, it hides something even more exciting, dual motor setup with real all-wheel drive capability. In this video, we're going to break down how this system actually works, not just with numbers, but with simple 3D animation that shows what's really happening under the floor. So the Harrier EV is not just an electric version of the diesel SUV. It's built differently. It runs on Tata's new Acti, a plus platform which supports dual motors. One motor powers the front wheels. That's a on 58 PS unit. And the second motor sits at the rear, making 238 PS. Combined, they deliver 504 newton meters of torque. In real world terms, this means instant torque, zero lag. And thanks to the motors being independently controlled, the system can decide on the fly where to send more power. That's why this SUV can go from 0 to 100 in just 6.3 seconds, which is seriously quick for a vehicle this size. But speed is only half the story. Tata added six terrain modes to make sure this power translates to control. From snow and mood to rock crawl and sand, the EV's onboard system adjusts throttle response, motor torque, and braking logic to match the terrain. Let's say you're on loose gravel. The rear motor can push harder for grip while the front motor stabilizes. Or if you're stuck in soft sand, the ABD kicks in, giving you that extra punch through boost mode. This boost mode temporarily unleashes full power from both motors, ideal for overtakes or sudden climbs. It's not about top speed, it's about smart traction. That's where dual motor systems really shine. Now you might ask, is this exactly how Tata wired every control logic inside the Harrier EV? Not exactly, we're showing you a simplified version. But the core idea is real two motors, smart control, AWD confidence. And the best part, it's made here, in India. If you found this breakdown useful and want more EV to explained in a way that actually makes sense, subscribe. Next up, I'm diving into why the Harrier EV might be a game changer for the Indian EV space. That one's going to be big, 